All right, how are you guys doing? I want to do another tutorial, short one. This one's going to show you guys how to add your own music into the game, uh, Fallout 3. And uh, now, some of the things, some of the skills that you need to be able to make this happen, uh, I'm not going to be covering. I'm going to assume that you know how to create an MP3, or if you are a musician, you can use some recording software and make a recording and convert it into an mp3 uh, first thing I want to show you is uh, the way I figure out how to do some of these things is I look at the data folder uh, for clues so in this case um, when I wanted to add music what I did was I went into the music folder and I just looked at uh, what kind of files these were. Um, you can't see this, but right here, all the in game MP3s, um, which are like stuff like this. Um, they are MP3s, they're 320 kilobits per second. And uh, you go to properties, all oh, it's an MP3, and it doesn't specify. Um, oh, yeah, it does. It's stereo. So you need to check, make sure that your MP3 is stereo and 320 kilobits per second. Um, so it'll play. All right. <clears throat> so what you do is you're going to load your Fallout 3 ESM and whatever if you wanted to add it to an already existing mod or whatever just click OK I know my screen is gonna look all crazy because Hypercam whenever you are loading the Fallout ESM uh, it just freaks out I don't know I noticed that on my last video um, so assuming you have some mp3s that you can use um, first thing you want to do is make sure that they're 20, 320 kilobits per second and are stereo so most audio editing programs have uh, mp3 conversion if not you can go online and get mp3 converter I may put that in the uh, in the file description um, but it's a limit you can only uh, convert like 10 files or something alright so um, to add the music you're gonna wanna go into miscellaneous and music type alright then you'll see all your music icons right here these are little eighth notes uh, you've got your in game um, and your explorer and tenpenny tower lobby music which we all hate I'm assuming um, right so you're gonna go in here and right click and go to new um, and then uh, you're gonna go to add sound file and then the only option you're going to have, the only directory that you're going to be able to access is going to be the music directory in your data folder from Fallout. Alright, so what does that tell you? That tells you that you need to make a folder in your data music or data sound music, what is it? Uh, Bethesda Fallout 3 data music folder you need to make a folder for your music and put your songs in that folder to be able to select them so in here I've already got two different folders for for my music alright so I'll select one of these that I made click OK and then you'll give it a unique ID alright so in this case this is a music for my Badlands world, so I'm going to put my naming convention, Crow X Badlands Music 
O2 because this is the second variation of that. And I'll click OK. And so now, here it is, Crow Badlands Music. Uh, there's not a preview uh, like there is for the sound effects. Um, so you know what you just you just have to make sure that the that the file your music file is in the right directory uh, for it to for you to be able to add it for one and two for it to be able to play it in game <laughs> all right now as far as sound effects go same thing applies you want to go into sound effects uh, and let's say you wanted to uh, uh, let's say you wanted to add a sound go to new add sound file and here we go again sound effects uh, you're gonna want to put your sounds in the sound folder um, you could probably get away with just putting them in the sound folder uh, or the effects folder um, I would go for the effects folder since when you do sound it's normally effects um, so but this one you can actually you can uh, test them out right this is the turbine idle um, the ambient sounds and the weapon sounds and stuff like that and the effects sounds and um, uh, even some music is in here um, so they uh, I guess they doubled it up um, as far as I know you can use the sounds for script uh, functions and I don't think you can use the music types for script functions um, I may be wrong I don't know could be totally wrong but I know I've 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 personally used sound effects in scripts um, and actually you know before you go adding a bunch of sounds for mods and stuff there's a lot of really cool sounds in here that you can use for stuff uh, Like that's a cool little camera sound uh, that you can use for for whatever you know. And uh, there you go. That's my little tutorial on how to import your own music and sounds into uh, into the GEC. Uh, now keep in mind, anytime you uh, add a set of sounds or some music to the GEC as a as a plugin, it's not going to remember that uh, for another plugin, so you'll have to add it again later. Uh, thanks for watching. That's all I got. Thanks. Uh, have a good one. Bye.